great happy good morning to everyone and I am off shopping today I don't know what I'm going to find but we're gonna do a, a little bit of run through and then I've got some other um, places I've got to go to later oh those are really cute those those Brightons are really cute I love the little slip-ons and they look to be in great condition so I am gonna put those in the cart Those are Steve Madden's. Now, see, I know that they're not leather. I just, I can't. If they're, if they're not like a good quality leather, I, I, I shy away from them. Um, so I guess I'll just, I'll leave those be too. These are Lucky Brands, but um, I can see that the leather is cracking off on the toes. So, so I won't touch those. But I'll keep on moving through here. Original Grand, those are real pretty. Oh, Cole Hahn, those are nice, but okay. I got one, one. I don't see it's match. Well, it would be hard to sell one shoe. Believe it or not on eBay, there are people that sell just one shoe. Um, maybe they don't, you know, they only need one shoe and, and that happens. But, um, well, I'm going to put it in the cart and, and obviously if, if I don't find, oh, wait a minute. I think I did. I think I found it. Ha! Oh, and I found it. There we go. Totally separate shelf. Now these are Cole Hans too. And I loved them as soon as I saw them. I don't think they're that worn. They probably just need a little bit of polish, but I am going to grab these too, because these are a really nice looking scalloped flat. Um, so I want to make sure I take those. Now, see, I, I, Sperry, I, I really don't get Sperry very often just because I don't, um, the resale on it isn't very good for me. Um, but these are really nice. The little black, like, dress-up shoes. I may put that in the cart just to do a check on those because you never know. So, um... You know, some brands I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't buy a lot of, but if I, if the style is really nice on them, you know, each brand has their, their hits and their misses. So when I say that, I mean that like, you know, um, you know, one style in that brand may not be very good, but you, you get out to the other style and it is. I'm going to run back over here real quick too and see if they have... Carl was telling me the other day when I didn't grab those shoes for him because I didn't think, I thought they would be too big. He's like, but I like the shoes, so I'm going to come back over here, but I, I would assume they're gone. They were, they were a really nice pair, so I don't think that they're still going to be sitting here. Nope, it looks like they are gone, so next time I know that even if they're a Y, to go ahead and grab them because they're, they're not here. All right, but I will come back through here and look in a minute. All right. And I've noticed, too, on the racks, they have been mixing in the men's and women's. So it's not always staying just like women's over here, men's over here. They've done a little mixture. So that means I, I'm going to have to look at um, all the racks, you know, just to make sure that... I'm not missing missing stuff because they, they mixed it in. I don't think they normally try to do that, but sometimes it sometimes it happens. Dr. Scholes. It is downright cold out there today, I can tell you. I've had a hard time keeping my hands warm for the past couple of days. Right. No, those are really lightweight, so I know that those aren't going to be a very good pair. No, I've looked at those before. look like they've put a lot of merchandise out so maybe they haven't been getting a lot of donations 
I know they're short staffed. I know they had to, um, I know they're using a lot of temporary, temporary workers to help with staffing, but that, that could just be like Christmas help too. The music is turned up a little bit in here today. Oh, well these are interesting. They are dance goes, but the the heel bed is pretty darkened, which means they probably got wet. So I'm gonna just leave those. I know I could try to clean them, but I think I'll just leave those. I have to say, I have found some great boots here this year. Um, I have sent out some really nice pairs of boots in my eBay store. Um, so it has, we have had some really good ones. All right. All right, so I'm gonna go through here one more time and just like look for everything because I just did a quick look for him. Okay, now what do we have over here? Sorry, I always have to check this stuff out. You, there are hats and certain brands that can actually have a lot of value. Um, so you do kind of have to look through those things also. We'll come over the purses. See, I know this is a, right here, this is a Kipling bag. I actually sell a lot of Kipling bags, believe it or not. Um, they're not huge high price sellers, but they sell. I mean, they're really, they're, okay, see that one has stains in it, so I'm gonna leave it. But um, yeah, these little Kipling bags, they, they do sell. So I will, I will pick them up if they're in really good condition. Just because of that type of material, if they're not in good condition, you know, then they don't they don't clean up well, is is what I mean. So if they have like stains on them, that pretty much means you can't you can't get it out. It's it's gonna be just stuck. Now what is this little guy right here? This is cute. Different, different style, different. Oh, okay. This is made by the sack. Look at how cute that is a little woven brown leather bag. You know what, I'm totally fine with this. I I won't, I haven't even looked it up, but, um, oh, it needs a polish. Is it damaged though? Or does it just need some polish? No, I think that's just dirt or crud on it, which I can totally get that off. You know what, I'm gonna take that. That looks good. Let's check the inside real quick to make sure the inside isn't completely stained. Uh, no, it's a nice dark brown color in there. Oh, that looks good. Just a cute little bag. All right, so we'll take that. And then this color caught my, this is kind of like a teal. This is definitely an old school, more of a classic bag. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if those classic, classic bags start really coming back into style. Um, what is this one? Furla. Oh, okay. This is usually a very nice brand, so I'm checking for damage. Uh, usually a very high-end brand, like brand new. This purse was probably probably three three hundred bucks. So let me see how the inside looks. The inside looks great. The outside just probably needs a good leather cleaning. And you know what? I think I am gonna take that because I do see possibilities, and the color is really nice. It's kind of a um, you know, like a light teal. This looks nice too. I like the, oh, this is actually a Target bag, but I like the style of it, just simple. It could be either a tote or a backpack, but um, I, it's not gonna have, it's not gonna be any good for resale though, is what I know. Now see, this looks like it could be a Dooney. 
it is a dooney. It is a, it is a very, very dirty dooney. What's the inside? The inside isn't bad, but the outside, the outside is looking a little worn. Now, do I want to recondition it? I don't know if I do. Let me see. Let me take a look at that. So you can kind of see what I mean. That doesn't mean, oh, you know what though? Well, it's inside. It's not too bad. I'm on the fence. I haven't made up my mind on that one. So I'll put it in the cart for right now and then uh, I'll make my decision. I'm on the fence though. I, I don't know if I want to clean it up and how, 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 how much better it's going to look, but you never know. Here's some cute, this is nice too. What is this? Anne Klein. Now, when you look at Anne Klein bags and you look at uh, Liz Claiborne, sorry, some of them can be leather and some of them are not. And I do believe this goes with it. It's probably an insert in the bag. Um, I wouldn't be surprised can't tell if this one is leather or not. So, it might be leather. You know what? I think I'll put it in and I'll check it out. Um, I, I know that sometimes the purses are leather and sometimes they're not. And it makes, it does make a difference to me. Now, see this up here is a fossil. I know it's a fossil. I, I mean, obviously the key is a giveaway, but this is definitely a fossil. So I want to see what the inside looks like. Ew, it's very clean. You know what? I might take that too. That's, it's, it is nice. It's, it's not going to have a ton of value, but like I said, you know, the, the fossil stuff will, if you can get the fossil stuff cheap enough, it, it will sell. Price point has a lot to do with, um, you know, whether I take things or not. Obviously like a Dooney and Berg, that will sell for a lot more. Um, okay, see, I like that too. Okay. So they marked this Spartina up a little. Oh, you know what? The leather's totally ripped in the corners. Okay, so that one's gonna go back. But this one is very, very cute. I don't think it's leather though, but it is very cute. Okay, so Spartina has to go back because if the leather is totally cracked in the back, then I don't want it. it means the leather's coming off. But I do want to look at something I saw down here. What are these down here? Sorry, gotta get down and see some of the stuff that was hiding in the back. You know, because they don't, it doesn't always, what's K, oh, KR would be Kim Rogers. Okay, so no, no on the Kim Rogers. This is cute, this little Vegas Minis. Who is this? Stone Mountain. Well, new with tags isn't bad, but... It, it honestly it's new with tags but it looks it has kind of some wear to it which is maybe it's that's the style you know what I'll put it in the cart and I'll, I'll check because you know like I said sometimes you don't you don't know and being able to list something new with tags is is not a bad bad deal so we'll put that in the cart. It's kind of a, like a bright orange peachy color, a salmon color. Sorry, it took me a minute to, to go through my brain salmon. I always get a kick out of some of these purses because, you know, when I the ones I usually take are in pretty good condition. But if you saw some of these purses 
that people like donated they're they're not in good shape but you know i guess i think after a while if it doesn't sell they know from the color of the tag and they just cycle it out i do believe that that's what they do because um I don't think they just want to leave it indefinitely, but I could, I could be wrong. I don't know if they actually have somebody that does that, but I'm, I'm thinking they probably do. Okay. So let's head on back. We'll do a cutout here. really cute. All right. Now that's definitely some old, that's definitely some vintage, a vintage candle holder set right there with the teddy bears and stuff. That's pretty cute. There's an advent calendar. Okay. So advent calendars. If it was made by like buyer's choice, I would absolutely buy it. The buyer's choice advent calendars, and they make the carolers. Whether you like the carolers or not, the buyer's choice advent calendars are very nice. Um, they're very pretty. We, ha we used to have um, a Yankee Candle um Emporium, which is like one of their big flagship stores here, and they would sell the the um, the buyer's choice. They had a whole buyer's choice room, and I I was always drawn to the advent calendars. Looks like we got some ornaments and stuff, but none of it looks very old. Super Mario Brothers, 550 piece puzzle. Mm. Okay. All right, let's head to the back and see the cart. Since no one is over here and it's quiet, which doesn't mean that it will be for very long. Let's see if I find any, find anything back here. Mama Ola. Disney, Disney. Okay. Oh, did somebody buy a whole set? Gongola. I don't know what any of that means. Oh, that one has a chip. Okay. See, I was totally okay with buying. Um, I was, I was okay with buying a Disney set of mugs, but. Let's go over here. I actually think I need a couple more of these for at the house. I'm not even sure where the other ones are, so I'm probably gonna toss that in my cart just so I have an, an extra. Well, this probably wasn't a good way to do this. That's one thing that's frustrating about Goodwill is that they do that. It probably would have been better if they would have put it in a box. But somebody obviously turned in some vintage stuff, so I applaud them for doing that. That always makes me happy. Now are these Beanie Babies or are these Pound Puppies? You know what, there's a difference. I'm gonna have to open that bag up and look because if it's a Beanie Baby, mm, I probably don't want it. If it's a Pound Puppy, I might want it. So that's, that's my, oh, look at these cats. Now, I have seen a lot of the vintage collectors buy these handmade cats and they redo them. I wouldn't, I mean, for this price, honestly, I might pick these cats up. I know that seems like a very odd thing, but the mid-century modern um, cats, 
you know, any person that's got any amount of artistic ability is going to look at those and go, eh, but then they're going to say, well, wait a minute, I can paint those. So you know what? I'm going to put them in my cart. I'm going to do a little re uh, a check on them and see like where, what they're looking like for those. Now, who makes this guy? He's very handsome in his little top coat and hat. He's very handsome. I know he's older. I just, I can't, I'm not recognizing who he is. All right, Rabbit Ears, 1985. He was made for Toys R Us for Random House. Okay, so he is based off a book. I knew he looked familiar. Okay, I'm gonna put him in my cart just in case. Just because you never know. You never know. All right. Went through that one. Let's try this one. Oh, that's a full one. Peep. Mm -hmm. I don't think these peeps are worth a ton. I, I've seen them all over the place. So I'm gonna put that one back. Oh, these are nice, these kaleidoscope tree toppers. I've seen these before and I do like them. You know, I'm gonna put that in my cart too. I know some of those can be pretty expensive. <laughs> these are cute. <laughs> okay, I like those too. Sorry, those might be a little not okay for YouTube, so I'm just gonna cover up what they say. If you uh, would like to know what they say, you can go ahead and leave a comment and we'll tell you in the comments. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't, I couldn't help myself. That just made me chuckle first thing in the morning. Paris Hilton cutting board and Yeah, my, my husband won't be okay with the the pink, the pink, I don't think, but it was cute. He does like his, his cutting tools. If it wouldn't have been pink, you know, maybe I should put it in the, in the cart because he might. You know what, I'm gonna put it in the cart because he might decide he, he, he needs it, so I don't know. Oh, there's some Grand Ole Noel. I can see it back there. It looks like it's the the duck or the goose one. What else do we have down here? We got some Thomas. Luggage wrap. Got some big garlands here. We got Santa. Okay, this is the Santa from, um, yeah, I know which one this is. This is from um, the the series, the um, old vintage the old vintage one. So I am going to put that in the cart because he probably does have value on. And I can see some stuff down here too. What is this one? Light up dance mat. I think I'll pass on that. Look at all these little stuffed animals and stuff here. You know, I I am looking for the um, the Furbies. You know, apparently everyone still likes the Furbies. Oh, these are cute. Those are like little play school Santas and ducks and stuff. That's cute. Let's see what this one is. More little stuff. Christmas magic. Okay, we'll go one more. There is a manger one, but um, I don't, I know, I don't like the way that, that they packed it in there. 
I don't want to find out the pieces are broken, so I'm going to pass on that. But I make sure I look under it, and like I said, I'm, I'm, I, am, I will look for Furbies since we got all these stuffed animals and stuff down here, because you never know. All right, nothing crazy sticking out of, sticking out at me. That looks like one of Lady and the Tramp from Disney, but I don't think it's an old one. Oh, and they cut the sticker out, okay. All right. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna come behind you. All right. Well, that was kind of nice to see some carts when they when they came out and no one was standing next to me. That was kind of nice. All right. So I always do stop in here because you never know um, if I find pictures that are needlepoint or cruel, I'll pick them up, but I don't see anything. I don't see anything right now. I do, um, And Shylvania. Interesting. Then I always think, is there something, you know, I have a record player, so I, I do listen to records once in a while. So I, I do pick things up if I see something that I like. I'm always looking for a new series for us to watch. I don't see one yet. I know I do this every time. One of these times I'll actually go, oh, and I'll grab something. I know it's time for everyone to start watching all the Christmas movies and the, you know, the all the cute stuff. I've been trying to. We've we've watched a, a few at a time, so it has been nice. Okay, well, I, I did my due diligence. I, I still don't see anything that I want to watch. Okay, well. All right, so I did my due diligence there. I, I checked once again, trying to find, find something. Okay, I think I'm going to go up to the front and and check my items and see what I'm gonna take and what I'm gonna put back. And oh, somebody put a Grateful Dead shirt here, but it's definitely not, um, it's definitely not an old one. Kudos to the resellers that will go through all the racks of clothes and stuff like this. I just don't have it in me. I mean, literally, I would spend all day here if I, if I had to do, if I had to go through all the racks. I just, I, I don't. Well, I guess I'm just gonna sit down here and I am gonna look at my ties and my belts because I, I, I do find very nice ones. Oh, okay, well look at that. That is a Dooney and Burke belt. New, never worn. Or is that a Brahmin? No, I think it's Dooney and Burke. And I don't think, okay, so there you go. I, I will take this. How cute is that? I mean, obviously there's, it's never been put on. Yeah, I'll take it. Um, so here, this is what belts cost right here. So you guys know, but that's an easy one. I'm not sure how how their belts sell, but for for that price, I'm I guess I'm gonna find out. So, and I always look at the men's too, Calvin Klein. You know, you can easily pick up, and I have picked up a Red Wing belt here that sold real quick. Um, I know I know that you can find 
um, like Ferragamo and and you know nice high-end stuff it does it does show up here I see a lot of vineyard vines in the area I, I haven't really gone explored all that much in vineyard vines just because I know there's a store here so I do see it um, this is a Capizio extra large cream colored belt doesn't looks like they tried to wear it and it wasn't a good work fit for them that's the only thing about belts is whenever I whenever I come look at belts I always drop a bunch of them <laughs> and then I have to I have to keep coming back and putting them back up just to see one belt and then we it looks like we do have some military belts here for the young men and women um what is that oh okay that's not going to be leather I know this right over here is going to be probably a polo, but the the metal's in pretty in pretty rough shape, so I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to leave that one again. All right, so I wanted to give you guys a quick little recap of the items that I got today. Um, I did get a few little things. Um, I also bought myself a few items that are actually um, that are in my um, bag. So don't think that like I forgot things. I actually, you know, just left them in my bag for myself. Um, I spent a total of $112 today. Um, I did get a Paris Hilton cutlery board. It just was really pretty and it actually has really good resale value. So I bought it. I also got a Furla green purse, um, a little fossil purse. And this was the Ann Klein. It had a little like insert with it. So I did get that. Um, it just, it was nice. So I, I bought it. I did get a pair of really soft, sperry black, like everyday women's shoes. I got two pairs of Cole Hans, a little pair of ballet flats and a little pair of sandals. I did get the little, um, Brighton, um, shoes. And, and I, I'm not sure if I told you I got a little Dooney and Burke belt. Um, this looks like it's brand new. It's a very, it's a small size, but it was so pretty that I was like, well, you know what? You got to get that for, for $3.99. So all in all, everything I bought, including the things for myself, I spent $111. So once again, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you could. Um, it really does help me and I'll see you soon. Bye.